Hey guys, uh, John Fontenay here, and uh, um, or something that Patty challenged me to try. Um, uh, making a variation on uh, uh, Mark uh, um, oatmeal <laughs> raisin cookies recipe with the uh, um, uh, in this case uh, doing a vegan version of it and uh, also uh, making some uh, substitutions and also explaining uh, how it compares to you know, having Asperger's syndrome or high functioning side of being on the autism spectrum and uh, um, so uh, here goes um, in the oven uh, um, I saw this oh, phone is a little slippery there. Um, got my ingredients here, and uh, uh, basically uh, comparing that to um, definitely needing to sometimes uh, know what's going on. Uh, Especially uh, when life throws some uncertainties, uh, helps to have some things prepared in advance so you have an idea of um, at least the goal to focus on while um, having the phone back and uh, while having the uh, um, excellent at pause, um, so basically have a golden place to focus on despite uh, all the uncertainties that can come up, such as, uh, how I did not originally have all the ingredients, so in this case, uh, you know, I'm having to improvise it, but still and uh, stay open to the different possibilities while not completely winging it. So, um, uh, and let's see, as with the uh, uh, doing a vegan version, uh, sometimes when you're on s when you're uh, on the spectrum, you just have to do things your own way, such as uh, using some uh, coconut oil and place of the traditional butter um, and uh, let's see butter sugar large bowl until fluffy <laughs> so uh, Sometimes you have to do things with your own flavor in life, regardless of whether or not you're on the spectrum. Um, butter, brown sugar. There we go. Grab a wooden spoon, I'll be right back. Okay. Um, So mixing that together and uh, <laughs> just like how a combination of things can, depending on your mindset, uh, <laughs> really help or hurt in any given moment, but like Tony Robbins says, what you focus on, yeah, stand in, there we go. <laughs> Maybe try to look it one second. Uh, and maybe brighten it a little more. Uh, what you focus on and uh, what you tell yourself uh, can make a whole world of difference.
checking the recipe again, just like how often people on the spectrum have to check um, if they're not sure what's going on, or they can get in a bad state pretty fast. Um, but as I learned, uh, as you get more experience, uh, usually the better it goes. Um, and often practice and uh, establishing a routine, just especially for younger people in the spectrum, it can be kind of obsessive without even realizing it, but more practice uh, and uh, more experience you tend to learn what is worth focusing on and what may not be as worth focusing on. Like, I'm not going to obsess over the brown sugar being, well, okay, I'll just use my hands for a little bit. Um, and just sometimes, uh, and just tell yourself that everything will uh, work out in the end, especially if it's worth it. Um, even if you sometimes have to improvise like uh, what I'm doing in this uh, video, live video. Um, uh, interesting crouch down so the light's a little better. <laughs> sometimes you also have to learn things on the fly. Um, all right. Um, light and fluffy. Adding some eggs, or in this case, uh, um, wash my hands over here. Back real quick. So with the eggs, um, doing a, I guess a, a vegan version of that. So that's a. In this case, I'm using arrowroot powder. It seems I got a little far in the low. Let me mix that. And sometimes, uh, just like how you sometimes have to stop and pause, or um, in some case, uh, is uh, talk to another person and. Especially get help. Um, <laughs> especially, uh, especially for people who uh, don't always uh, get equipped to handle uh, surprises on short notice. But the more experience you get with them, usually the uh, better you become at handling surprises. Um, And sometimes uh, you end up having to handle it your own way, just to get past, not just get past it, but also grow from it. Um, fix the camera angle a little bit. Um, okay, put the rest of the mixture in. And stirring in the vanilla, um, in this case, uh, sometimes when you're not born to do things a certain way, uh, just because the way uh, you end up being wired differently, so you some, compare that to how I am using a tablespoon of a vanilla tea instead of the actual vanilla extract, but making it work, just like life. <laughs> All right, mixing that a little more. Mm. 
just like using the persistence you get from having Asperger's syndrome or being on the autism spectrum, just to keep going and making that persistence pay off. Alright, next up. Add the oats flour, cinnamon, baking soda, salt, and a again, bowl. So the recipe originally called for uh, two cups of the slow uh, cooking oats or whatever you call them, but again, using what you, you, you've been, gifts you've been wired with, even if different from most other people, uh, comparing that to how I only had the instant ones and it was the flavored version, so some original instant, some maple and brown sugar, and some apples and cinnamon. So two cups of that in there, then checking the ingredients again, <clears throat> uh, flour, cinnamon, baking soda, and salt. Yeah. Not spill, but... Carry on. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, and I guess I didn't have a uh, milk on hand, so instead of uh, uh, altering the recipe with a chewy variation that Mark Bittman used in his cookbook. Um, in this case, uh, using uh, agave instead of uh, molasses, uh, some things you just weren't born to do, um, and you end up being wired differently, but use that gift to your advantage. Um, in this case, uh, I left the agave unattended uh, for a while, so um, yeah, just, just bring it down a little. Hmm. <laughs> Sometimes uh, you can get into a little sticky situation. But, uh, keep at it with the persistence, and, yep, almost there, ne never give up. <laughs> One second, <laughs> working with the resources you have. Getting resourceful. Was it Tony Robbins? It's not a lack of resources, it's a lack of uh, resourcefulness. Yeah, okay, we're gonna... So, yeah, mixing anything else. Oh, baking soda. Yeah, oh, it's a flour. Using some gluten free flour and a little uh, arrowroot powder, which I also used as a substitute with the egg. Um, since I was slightly short on flour, I may not know how it'll all turn out, but carry on. Uh, <laughs> big challenge, especially in your younger years when you're on the spectrum, but. Uh, as lots of successful people have shown, uh, just carry on. Put that persistence to good use. Yeah, let's see how it's going in here.
Okay. All right, next stop. Um, thank you for watching, by the way. Um, let's see. All right, adding in, combining the ingredients. All right, and uh, in this case, instead of raisins, I uh, had dried cranberries, so. Different interests, different specialties, and uh, different perspectives <laughs> that come from uh, thinking differently. <laughs> All right. And then, you know, when you get uh, obsessive with the details, you'll find things like how at the end of the description before the recipe, um, uh, it said it can handle up to a cup and a half of other random ingredients, so got a little, uh, couple packets left of a nut medley mix. Uh, got some cashews, uh, almonds, pumpkin seeds, uh, a little salt, and uh, also more dried cranberries. So adding all those in. <laughs> Funny while we're, while we're on the subject of nuts, uh, sometimes uh, life can be nuts, and, or mostly like a box of chocolates, uh, as my Uncle Tim's uh, uh, little uh, frame on his wall would say, life is like a box of chocolates, mostly sweet but with a few nuts. <laughs> But sometimes the best way out of insanity is through. <laughs> At least in some situations. <laughs> Having to clarify some toys. Okay. So mixing that up. Yeah. Bring a little closer for you. Um. Mixing it together, just like all the skills you develop as you practice more over time. <laughs> the practice gets progress, especially uh, when you have the right people to work with and uh, learn from some of the best. So this is what the oh, been slipping. This is what the mixture looks like now. Um, all right, um, and oof. <laughs> carrying on even uh, a little tripod holding the phone almost slipped, but <laughs> I'm going live, so carry on as if nothing happened. Okay, where was I? Um, doo -doo -doo. 
it's a uh, what re what's the recipe uh, tablespoons is mounds of dough two inches apart and then throwing it in the oven um yeah sometimes uh just like stretching or stretching out of your comfort zone uh, sometimes uh a little uh, exercise beforehand to warm up, or uh, in this case, putting a little grease on the baking sheet so it uh, doesn't uh, get all uh, sticky after you pull it out of the oven. Which, uh, all uh, speaking of which, uh, after it's done baking, I'll uh, post some pictures in the reply. Also, I guess not sure if anyone's commenting, but um, if anyone has been commenting, I'll uh, check it out later um, and reply after. Just, uh, I guess, not seeing them at the moment, but still appreciate that you're watching. Alright, tablespoon. Let's see what's in the drawer. of resourcefulness, I will just use a spoon instead. Okay, um... Alrighty. So, um... Here's, uh... If you have anything from uh, your life to, or I guess uh, if you have like a favorite recipe where a lot of the ingredients in the process of uh, making it is comparable to um, adversity you faced in your life, but also uh, happens to be some of your biggest blessings, uh, feel free to drop that drop a story about it and the recipe uh, in the comments and uh, also uh, drop a heart or a like if this is resonating with you um, and uh, um, let's see what else is I gonna say um, yeah. Speaking of uh, having uh, what you, you uh, having to work with what you got, uh, above all the gratitude, um, which is the last of uh, the actor Henry Winkler's big three, by the way, tenacity, preparation, and gratitude. Um, his three uh, traits that he attributes to why he has been successful in acting. Um, so definitely grateful to have uh, gotten the cookbook. Uh, uh, let me. It's uh, How to Cook Everything Vegetarian by Mark Bittman. Uh, when I started releasing late since like last. Uh, June or July, um, got from 221 to, I think now, uh, mid-170s, uh, buying that cookbook was like one of the first actions I took to commit to releasing weight and, uh, um, just like a lot of lifestyle changes from changing diet, exercising more, have all been a huge help. Mm. 
Fears I get to grab a second cookie sheet. Um. See what's on the cover. Grab some more paper, I'll be right back. addition by subtraction just so I don't burn the oven. Or cause a fire in the oven, whichever applies. <laughs> I compare that to um, no longer spending time from someone who you realize should not be in your peer group. Okay, um, accidents. Okay, um, so as in life with the second cookie sheet, just when you think you're almost done, you may be, may not even be halfway there, but you keep going. Persistence pays off. second row. Um, let's see if I can bring it a little closer. Especially, uh, not just me, but other people. Uh, um, when you tend to be a perfectionist, um, you have to remember that done is better than perfect. the camera around. Um, so that's the how it looks before I put it in the oven. And yeah, had it pre to 375. Thank you. 
There we go. Okay, so they're in the oven now, and uh, I will, uh, um, yeah, I'll uh, take a picture uh, once they're done, and uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, i love to hear uh, some of your stories for what some of your favorite recipes of compared to your life and any adversity you have faced and like each ingredient what lessons they have taught you in your life and uh, what can be passed on to others uh, I'll see you again some other time signing off for now Woo! have a good night